When the medical marijuana amendment was on the ballot during last November's elections, many high schoolers went out to vote for the very first time in the initiative. However, many people wouldn't expect a teacher to support, much less advocate the measure. But for Don Quarles, the vote is personal. Her son Ben has a condition that marijuana would relieve. What it basically is, it, it prevents, you know, from, say, you get the flu or something. It's extremely hard to heal, and it's just very hard to overcome. Uh, we know for a fact that uh, medical marijuana is being used in other areas, and for people who have children with mystery illnesses, and even people who have known illnesses uh, in which me medical marijuana has been helpful, uh, I just feel like the state of Florida is being denied that option. The fight for medical marijuana in Florida actually began here in Gulf Breeze, where the Mosley family tirelessly advocated for a strain of marijuana known as Charlotte's Web, which would help relieve their daughter's epilepsy. But for Ms. Quarles, a government teacher, the most frustrating part was the legislative process. It, it was also disheartening that an amendment needs to be passed with 60% approval, and we had 58%. So anytime 58% of the population votes in favor of something and it's still being denied, uh, that was just disheartening for me. So I will continue to lobby for this because I feel like it would be helpful to at least have the option of trying it to see if it would work for certain medical conditions. So as the sun sets on Gulf Breeze and the rest of Florida, the Quarles, the Mosleys, and countless other families have a hope for a change in legislation. It's going to be back on the ballot. I believe it'll be back on the ballot in the next election, and with it passing with 58% the last time, I, I think it's coming. I'm Amber Moynihan reporting for WPHS News.